Gom Calidus, sovereign territory of the Arcanide Crystal Empire. The 13th moon of the planet Gom has been under quarantine for ages. Hello, welcome back. Let's play Perry Roden. It's been a while, but we are back, and if my memory serves me correctly, we, uh, we're off to some sort of remote mining colony. Uh, Elmo Dotter? I thought it had a different name, but it's what our uh, title is, so. It looks like our little assault pod got pretty banged up in the landing, so uh, let's take a look around, salvage what we can. Then head off in the only direction we can, it seems. Doesn't look like I'll get any further with this shuttle. I can only hope that this is really Gom Calidus. Gom Calidus, that's the the name I remember. A featureless waste wherever one looks. What a bleak planet. And uh, Perry is not impressed with it. This plasma converter is from one of the glider's propulsion units. It still contains a high residual voltage. It seems to have been torn off the system before it could discharge. Ooh. So we can charge something there. Or are we just... carrying it with us? Nah, that's not going to work. Uh... Doesn't work. Okay, I guess we're just carrying it with us now. We got a crowbar here? Great. The only tool from the glider's inventory that I can find is a primitive crowbar. Hey, don't be like that. There's what looks like a screwdriver here, too. A sleeve for focusing plasma jets. It's probably from the fusion reactor. The stuff that's lying around here. And we got a gas can? The water canister was damaged in the crash. It'd be a shame if that precious fluid just trickled away into the ground. Not that I'm dying of thirst, but the air's so dry here. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, and it looks like there's a crate there that he doesn't care about. And I don't see anything else we can really do here. Uh, didn't update our journal at all. Arcadia stick. Arcadia ore from the Elmold Dotter mines on Gom Calidus. Okay, so Elmold Dotter is like the city name, and Gom Calidus is the planet. Oh, we have the miner's lamp. Uh, ooh, can we charge that? Doesn't work. Ah. Uh, transport frame, so we still got that. We've got the bone from the wing of the Eilichim. Oh, technology of unknown origin, possibly from the Eilichim. Okay. Positronic key, which is programmable, so we can use this as like a programmable lockpick, essentially. Uh, oh, but it overwrites the old code, but that's fine, because I don't think we're going back to the Museum on Titan anytime soon. Emblem of Turacel, Arcanide Secret Service, an eye and a snake-like reptile, all right, crowbar, a simple steel tool for prying things open, levering, and moving. One end serves as a handle, while the other is flat to enable it to be forced into narrow gaps and bent at an angle for levering. Beam collar, parabolic collar for focusing plasma beams from the propulsion unit or fusion reactor of a glider or spaceship. And damaged water tank. A metallic container for storing liquids. This particular model has suffered impact damage and is therefore no longer watertight. Well, we can just hold it upside down, I suppose. But, uh... Featureless waste wherever one looks. What a bleak planet. Let's move on. I don't think there's anything else to salvage here. This. A greasy, foul-smelling affair. Why should I take something like that with me? Because it's not bolted down and it could be useful later. This moon is actually too inhospitable to be habitable. It does have an atmosphere, but there's almost no water. So can we just dump the water on it? I could use the empty canister to scrape off some of this greasy lichen. But why should I take this disgusting stuff with me? Okay, I guess we'll be doing that later. Uh, when we have a reason to. I wonder what these absurd plants here live on. There's neither water nor enough light here. And it looks like the only way to go is forward into this arch, which I'm sure will give us a great view of the surrounding area. So let's run over there.
Or not. Dang, I thought they were setting up a cinematic view. Quit blinking. I hate that this blinks. Makes me think there's something new. Everything here is just dry and dirty. I need to make sure I get away from here quickly. All right. Well, I guess everything here is okay, just he's dry just and the same dirty. Stuff. A lot of transitions. Everything here. Oh, okay. At first, I thought that might have been a cave. Keep running along. Keep running, Perry. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's see. Anything else we can look at? If things continue like this much longer, I'll soon be as parched as this place is. I should have brought the glider down a little closer to the mining area. I wonder what these absurd plans... Okay, you said that one before. Guess there's nothing else to do for the moment but to continue towards the colony. There we go. What a sight. Looks like they're digging pretty deeply into the ground. That's the gigantic mine that was mentioned in the exhibition, Elmo Dater. I've never seen anything like it before. Those don't look like Arcanide structures by any stretch of the imagination. What a chaotic design. Oh, what does this sign say? It says Elmo Dater Mining Area, Gom Kaladis Moon quarantine area from this point the executive authority of the divine empire is suspended and can no longer ensure compliance with law and order pursuant to mm, bully warned me but if the whole moon has been quarantined an epidemic must have broken out here ah oh, great the mine has eaten its way further and further into the moon attached to these steel hulks but who devised this monstrous structure All right, let's see what this control box is all about then. This lift seems to be a kind of plasmatron evacutainer system. And this is the plasma generator. I hope there's enough heavy gas inside. I might be able to activate it using a targeted energy impulse that would allow the lift to be moved, at least for a short time. Okay, so... Well, it's worth a try. But no. Okay, so do we just use the plasma converter on it? If I want to reactivate the inactive gas in the generator, I should focus the residual radiation in this converter as much as possible. Otherwise, it'll radiate in all directions, and the result will be an uncontrollable plasma fusion. Okay. Okay, if I bend this flange here and push the sleeve's lower edge over the converter's exhaust port... <clears throat> okay. Now I feed the bipolar energy supply in there... And I get a kind of plasma jet. It's very improvised and won't last very long either. But it'll fulfill its purpose for now. As long as it can get us down, up, and down again. Because <laughs> we'll have to go back for that fungus or moss or whatever, probably. Which is a thing we can't just take it now, but... This is going to be a tricky one. First, I'll have to open the maintenance compartment of the firing chamber. Then insert my plasma jet into the opening. That should more or less fit. Now, I'll power up the emitter briefly. Well, what do you know? With a little imagination, determination, and a lot of luck, anyone can get a plasma generator to work. I have no idea how long the energy will last. I better make sure I get down there. All right, well, let's go. Well, what do you know? With a... Uh, let's go. Well, what do you... Well, what do you... Uh, make it go. That's the gigantic. That's the gigantic mine. Okay, that's the same thing. Is there? Uh... All right, I have the uh, scan tool. I completely forgot about that. Uh... Looks like this vehicle is the only way to reach the Elmo Data level. As there's enough gravity on this moon, the down should be doable somehow. If I can make this wreck operational again, it could be a pretty breakneck affair. Okay. What am I missing? Landing outside uh, the Elmo Dater mines was more like a gentle crash, and the glider is no use to me now. Near the edge of the giant shaft is a plasmatron evacuator elevator. I'll have to get it going again in order to travel down into the city. 
Okay. Well, what do you know? With a little. There's no way this. Oh, go down. That's the gigantic. Mi oh, damn. Mine is eating its way. We fixed it. Why is this the hard part? Well, what do you. Well, what do you. Well, what do you. It's not like back here, is it? I would think that. Ah, uh, da da da. I only I think you might, yeah. And we can't. Oh, we can walk over here, but that doesn't get us anything. Looks like this vehicle is the only one. Okay. Well, what do you? Well, what do you know? With a okay, so I, I. That's the gigantic mine. Okay. Come on, Perry. We fixed it. What more do you want? I do not understand why this is Looks so like hard. This That's, That's the... Nope, can't double click there. How do we turn it on? Not like... Mine is eating its way... There's not another... zone as far as I can tell. Looks like this vehicle is the only way to reach the Elmo data. Well, what do you know? With Looks like this. Okay, shut up, Barry. Oh, this is annoying me. I will, uh. I do want to scan. Okay, so I missed potentially one. Is it day or night? I guess it never really gets light here. Let me guess, he's still... Oh, why would I want to take it with me? I could use the empty cannon. Yep, alright. And I don't think I missed anything else. This plasma converter is from one of the glider's propulsion units. It still contains a high residual voltage. It seems to have been torn off the system before it could discharge. But we got the converter again? Nah, that's not going do, to work. Do we just go... Featureless waste wherever one looks. What a bleak planet. Please tell me this didn't bug out and that it's just we can go back whenever we need a charge, maybe? If I want to reactivate the inact well, what do you know? With a little Okay, I am actually confused now. <sighs> if I stick the crowbar in there, I get a lever I can use to operate the mechanism. <sighs> well, smooth it isn't. I'd need fat or grease to make it run a little better. Okay, all we had to do was use the crowbar. I didn't realize we had to open it up further. I thought it was running, and all we had to do was push a button since, you know, this is the future. All right. That's on me. Now can we take this stuff with us? Who would have thought this old canister would come in handy? But it's just right for transporting this stuff. I can scrape a lot off the stone using the opening. And that should definitely be enough. Alright, so now we shouldn't have to come back here once we're down. I was worried someone would need that to, like, make medicine or something. Jelly-like lichen. Unknown form of moss or lichen. 
Mmm, it has a greasy, slimy consistency and an unpleasant smell. All right, pour that in, then we'll put our crowbar in. Oh, our crowbar's already in. It doesn't fit. In. It doesn't fit. What? If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Well, what do you know? With a little imagination... Oh, my... Is that a new hotspot that just popped up? Oh, I see. I need fat or grease to make it run a little more smooth. I see. That's the crowbar lever. It's very hard to see. If I carefully dribble this stuff onto the shaft, it should produce a kind of lubrication that will allow the thing to be moved more easily. There we go. Now can we... Looks like it could work. This is pretty risky, but hopefully it won't be worse than the landing earlier. Right then. Let's go. Wow, what a ride. But I'm still alive. Who would have thought? I can't imagine that the region of the League of Free Terrans is a welcome visitor here. Colonial Terrans probably aren't very popular here either, but at least no one will recognize me. <laughs> Literally all he did was put like a little pirate symbol on his shirt. And uh, wow, we got uh not too many places to go. Elmo Dater. But how big is this city in the mine? I've no idea how I'm supposed to find Cato and Mandra here. All right. Elmo Dater. The light comes from below. Perhaps they used atomic suns inside the mine shafts. But what a huge effort for one single byproduct. Uh, let's talk to these blues and try to get to know the lay of the land before we go any further. Howdy. How many countless times have I had to wait around somewhere, starving, while you were who knows where, by the craven-colored creature of disloyalty? By the memory of the lilac-colored creature of impossibilities, that you should even imply such a thing. I would never have neglected you, ever. At least I'm not pretending innocence. The proof is that I found the blessed blue creature. I don't intend to listen to your impudent claims a minute longer. I, for my part, found it, and that's why its blessing belongs to me. You discovered it? Oh, really? So am I supposed to have overlooked it? Why not? I just paid attention. So you didn't pay attention to it, and now you want to take it away from me. <laughs> of course, I had it last. Remember perfectly, thank the holy creature of enlightenment. You just left it lying there. The violent creature of stupidity speaks from your mouth. And where am I supposed to have got it from? I was away the whole time, and you were lying around here somewhere. So it's my protector now. Never! You're not worthy of experiencing the protection of the blue creature. Oh, why not? Just listen to that. You're never able to keep to the commandments. What's this got to do with the commandments? If you just take it for yourself, and it's here with us now, and you don't have any recollection anymore, and say that you're its finder... Of course, of course. You could have found it if it meant so much to you, but you let me do all the walking, and I'm so much more exhausted than you. <laughs> if anyone's finished here, then I am. I feel all jittery. The silver creature of sadness wishes to consume me. Just wallow in self-pity, why don't you? That won't help us either. You're not exactly blessed with diligence as it is. I would be off immediately if I was the one whose job it was to procure things today. But where are we to look if you get banned everywhere thanks to your gallivanting? If anyone here is to be accused of gallivanting, it's you. How many countless times have I had to wait around somewhere? All right, they're looping now. While you were... Uh, hello? Okay. By the uh. memory of the lilac-colored creature of imp... Oh, boy. Those two are so preoccupied with that creature doll, they don't even seem to notice me. I didn't even notice a creature doll. I 
I don't intend to listen. I don't want to listen to them anymore, but yeah, I don't yeah, see any. Uh... Why not? I'm the final oh, why? What? Of course, of course. If anyone says why, I... by the okay, oh boy, that's... <laughs> those two are so preoccupied with that creature doll, they don't even seem to notice me. All right, so. We'll let them have their little lovers dispute. Uh, in the meantime, let's just let's explore. All right, so we came from here. Okay. Everything here is lit as bright as day, as though the inhabitants were afraid of the dark. Oh man, is it the pitch black planet? Alright, we gotta... Oh, is this the light he was talking about? Everything here is... Yeah, okay. Everything here is echo dim. This must be a club or a bar or something like that. I hope I can get something to drink here. My throat's really dry. <laughs> really? That's all you can think about, Perry, is your next drink? Alright. We got some holographic dancers. Hey, another human. Or an Arcanide, maybe? Go-Go girls didn't dress quite as revealing as that back in the day, but at least they were real flesh and blood. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, they got... They might have nothing on. But, of course, the resolution's so low you can't see anything. All right, let's see if we can get a drink. G'day, stranger. How about an odor? An odor? Yeah, just take a deep breath of it and off you go. Lyagyra's Heavenly Ride, a Drapanian Shepherd's Fun, or Gentle Surf on Jilam Hirush, or... I'm looking for someone. Not me. I only sell odors. Okay, then just give me something to drink. The air around here is so dry. You couldn't afford anything to drink here. Aside from that, we're an odor bar. We don't sell liquids. So we have an Aussie robot selling smells. That's interesting. An odor. But you don't want to pay for it with Galaxus, do you? Don't you have a few Kroners or an Eldo Ram credit? Eldo Ram. Get an Eldo Ram credit. Eldo Ram is the established currency in Elmo Dotter. Later. Okay, so we got a. We got our little credit card now, but we don't have a credit limit, so let's talk to these guys. I saw it with my own eyes. It wasn't a mistake. It's time again. Oh, man. Did we have to endure this time and again? This terrible moon. That's all their fault. This could have been cleared up long ago. They've had the anti-serum for a long time. But the medics cash in on those who can afford it. They control everything. And the Empire holds out its hand and changes nothing. And all the others die, and I ask myself why. Alright, so uh, plague management isn't going very well. You're getting on my nerves, Terran. Aren't you also a Terran? Well, let's speak to this conspicuous looking guy. Hey, you ancient ruin. This is an event for young people, right? Either get your facade fixed, or go and sit over there with those old timers. Dude, your hair's white. Although, we are an old timer. <laughs> You're not allowed in here, Brass Koi. Okay, more Australian aliens. Okay. Uh, is there anything else to do here? Looks like we don't have a ton of leads. Oh, that's mildly annoying. My mouse back. Alright. We got the sign, which hopefully Perry can read it. Although it might just be an Arcanide. An Arcanide aphorism. Revontathar dovulum mu. It means roughly, the day lasts forever, only the planets rotate. The Arcanides may be arrogant, but they're an ancient space traveling people. <laughs> Same shit, different day, huh? All right, let's talk to this nice-looking young lady. Hey, you good-looking Tyon. You up for a round of Sinopha? 
Since you look so, uh, healthy. <laughs> well, that's a very generous offer, but I'm afraid I can't accept. My credit is only good for 24 hours, and I still have so many things to do. Then come back when the 24 taunters are over, and I'll give you a private credit. Uh, okay. I have a feeling we don't want her services. Uh... So can we just... What's an Eldro RAM credit? That's the normal method of payment here in Elmo Data. The unofficial currency, so to speak. And who can give me one of those credits? There are a few main sources here, usually merchants. The next nearby credit shop would be Agasha's store. Oh, I'm glad I thought to do that. <laughs> I was just wondering if it, like, if he gave it to me and he was just going to let me pay, but no, it's... We don't actually have the credit card in our inventory yet. It's just the idea of the credit card. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that uh, this way would be next door, so I guess we'll see if we can barter for a credit with him. Uh, oh, this is a view. Oh, 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 we're doing one of those, okay. Go back so I can... The path seems to lead out of the district of Elmo Dater. At least it's somewhat lighter here, but it's hard to tell where the light is actually coming from. All right. So let's see what our other hot spots say. This tower, or whatever it is, seems to reach right down into the bottomless depths. How many kilometers down does it go? Good grief, look how far down it goes. This mine must have really been dug very deep into the moon. Hell, they might even be down all the way to the core. It says the entrance has been barricaded. Keep out. Risk of poisoning. Doesn't sound very inviting. All right, let's go in. <laughs> the entrance to this building is locked. There's an ancient lock here. Hmm. But it looks like it's been used recently. No idea what kind of key one needs for it. An ancient key? Perhaps to go with the ancient lock? Uh... Well, it's worth a try. But, no. Alright, didn't think that would work. So... Okay, apparently that's not the way to go for our, uh... Credit card. Uh... It got our shop. He said next door, is it just through... Are you a Jara? Are one of you people a Jarga? This path might lead me to the horizontal, but certainly not to Mandra. <laughs> he only wants a horizontal with Mandra. I'm standing here to prevent those of you without permission from entering, and you don't have permission neither. Okay, so that's not the shop. And he wants us to update our look. Well, I don't think he's uh, going to care much about the uh, store credit. Okay, I guess that's the only way to go. So, next door might be a loose term in this context. Uh, let's go see what's in, uh, what's in door number two here. Come on, go in. All right. It doesn't really look like a mine. Who would have thought that Elmo Data was such a huge settlement? How many stranded, forgotten, and contaminated people are still living here? That's a little intimidating, that shuttle dropping down on us like that. Agarsh's store, a trading post from the looks of it. Oh, perfect, just what we need. And it looks like... Is she Arcanide? Ooh, that's this? a smelting furnace. Perhaps this place was once a metalworks. Phew, that's hot. Well, if it's still working, maybe it still is. This place is secured better than the Bank of Terra. Life as a trader is evidently not very easy in Elmo Dater. Hey, what's up? Ah, 
Ah, a new face. And such a healthy one, too. My name is Agasha, my dear. And you can get everything you need from me. And who are you? I'm Per, uh, Laszlo Dakonu. I'm new here. Yes, I can see that. Before we get to the business part of our little tete a tete, may I ask what brought you here? You can hardly be from Gom Kaledis the way you look. Terrans aren't exactly welcome here. I'm looking for an Arcanide called Cato de Trumort. He must have arrived here recently as well. Never heard of him. So what do you want? Uh, can I get some credit, please? I was told I could get an Eldro Ram credit from you, is that right? That's right, sweetheart. What do you need it for? Well, it doesn't look like I can use my Galax here at all. You can say that again. Most people here don't even know that the League of Free Terrans exists. I can give you an Eldo Ram credit. To do that, though, I'll have to pawn as many of your possessions of reasonable value as possible. I guess that can't be helped. Have a look and see what you can use. Right, what do we got? That's good. That, too. <laughs> that even looks valuable. What's this supposed to be? That's okay. That, too. Good, you can keep the rest. That gives you an Eldo Ram credit for 24 Tantas, my sweet. If you have any problems with it, you can contact me in confidence. All right, what did she take? Uh, nothing too much. Hey, do you have a charger for this? Oh dear, where did you get this rubbish? I haven't seen an ancient pit lamp like this for a long time. I'm not sure I can help you there. Let's see. That robot looks familiar. You're a lucky beggar. I actually did still have one of those old energy packs here. It should still have enough juice in it. Perfect. Old but still functional, equipped with a power pack that hopefully still has enough power. It looks like we can't uh, comment on the big giant robot in the background. Uh, jelly like like in. I've already told you I've never heard of Cato de Trumort. Now, do you want to buy something or not? Alright, what else can we do here? Uh... No, that's not gonna work. Or at least it shouldn't since we just told her we were a Terran. Oh yeah, that's poison. Keep that in mind. What a desolate place. The merchant Garsha has given me an Eldoram credit, which is the usual currency in Elmo Dater. She seems to be friendly and helpful. If I win her trust, she might tell me what she really knows. Uh... uh... How do we win her trust? No idea how this is supposed to work. I guess we'll just drag random things to her. Thanks, sweetheart, but I don't buy anything. I sell. Get it? Here, no buy, only sell. Cartonet. Oh. Uh, I... I thought you were a pawn shop, though. Does my shop look like a flea market? I don't bargain, sweetheart. I sell. So we need to buy something from her, but I don't know. This place is secured better than the Bank of Terra. Life as a trader is evidently not very easy in Elmo Dater. I don't see anything to buy, so to speak. All right. <laughs> Well, we can at least buy the scent now, for what good that does us. I wish we could, like, ask her about our clothes or something. Uh... My days of relying on the cell activator to repair my body are over. Drugs are totally overrated anyway. What? <laughs> Can I offer you another order? So did we get an order? Doesn't look like it. Can I offer you another order? My days of relying on the cell activator to repair my body are over. Drugs are totally overrated anyway. I don't talk to primitive people. You're getting on my nerves, Terran. Ooh, can we start a can bar fight? Can someone tell me what that stinking Terran wants here? Do I need to use force to shut you up, Braskoy? I wouldn't know what we'd have to discuss, Braskoy. 
You're getting on my nerves, Taryn. Ah. All right. Brass Cooey, seriously, you're not allowed in. And really, I can hardly imagine you being a good dancer, so get out of here, old man. All right. I'm standing here to prevent those of you without permission from entering, and you don't have permission neither. Uh, we're with the tour cell, let us in. I'm here to guard the door. I don't answer questions. Nope. Well, at least the robot's semi-helpful. My days of relying on the cell activator to... Nope. Uh... I really hate to say this, since I presume that you're a grown man who knows what he's doing, but I really do not recommend taking that stuff. The smell alone will make you sick. All right, don't eat the gel. You shouldn't be asking me questions. You should try my odors. I also have less expensive samples for new guests. All I can say is different odors, different colors, lots of experiences. Uh, do you know Carlo Dutrimor? A good bartender sees and hears everything that happens in his club, and he knows how to keep his guests' secrets. All right, I guess I'm just gonna... Hey, have you seen this, Arcanine? someone tell me what that stinking Terran wants here? I, I just told you what I want. Do I need to use force to shut you... Does that work with this guy? For the last time, I ratch. Over 30's night was yesterday. It's the Space Team Tea Party today. And when's over 3000's night? What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Boogie Woogie, The Twist, Jive, Rock and Roll. But okay. I can see that this really isn't my scene. <laughs> yeah, I suppose he would know those old dance moves. I'm here to guard the door. I don't answer questions. Oh, fine. Will she have any more information for me? This path might lead me to the horizontal, but certainly not to Mandra. Hey, have you seen uh, Cato de Trumor? This path might lead me to the hor- Guess not. All right. Hey, Blues, have you seen this guy? I'm looking for this man. Cato de Trumort. I followed him here. Listen, my friend. You're in the lower end of Elmo Data. It's not exactly a noble or aristocratic neighborhood, if you catch my drift. Such high-class personages don't frequent these parts. The Trumort, the Silver, da, da, da. Then you know where he is. That, unfortunately, is not the case. But there are those who might know. Torrigan the medic would be such a person. If he makes time for you. And he only does that for sick people with sufficient assets. All right, well, thank you very much. You've been uh, very helpful, actually. You got another lead. He's probably behind that locked door then. All right. Hey, can I sell you some jelly even though you only sell? This stuff is more than just unhealthy, my dear. If you mix it with sheet in a two-to-one ratio, for instance, you get a corrosive acid that will even dissolve arachieda. So be careful what you do with it. Oh, that's useful. Uh, what sheed? Uh, maybe you know what this poison is. Listen, now. sweetheart, you'll put that away quick if you don't want any trouble. I don't want anything to do with illegal stuff. I'm an honest Mihandor. Okay. This isn't a goods exchange, my dear. It's an honest trading post. Yeah, but where are your goods? How do I buy things? Does my shop look like a flea market? I don't bargain, sweetheart. I sell. Does my shop look like a... Okay. Uh... No one with even half a brain would believe that you're a member of Two Russell. Anyway, people here don't appreciate you waving that sort of thing around. Okay, good to know. This isn't a goods exchange. Thanks, sweetheart, but I don't buy. Okay. Yuck. What am I supposed to do with your leftovers? <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart, uh, but I. We already used the miner's lamp. Uh... Listen, my dear. If there's anything on gum calatus, it's arachieda ore. My storeroom is full of these sticks. 
but I'll be happy to sell you a few more. Okay. Thanks, sweetheart, but I don't... This isn't an antique shop. Alright. So it doesn't seem like she has anything else, but she said something about uh, mixing this jelly. Um, with Shahid. I think that's what it was. If we're lucky, that's one of the odors. You name that uh, he's got for sale here. Can I offer you another odor? I really hate. Nope. Uh. What do you want to do with that? I'm afraid I don't have the tool you need to press the sheet out of that. There are other methods. So the sheet is extracted directly from Arakita ore. Now, don't tell me you didn't know that. But it looks like you're new here in Elmo Data. Is Arakita still being mined? I thought it wasn't worthwhile. You'll understand one thing, Braskoi. Everyone around here is on sheet because it's the only liquid you can get out of this dried up moon. Oh, okay. So, sheet is mined from the ore. I probably would have remembered what sheet was, uh. If I had, uh. <laughs> And it gotten sick and been forced to not play for a few weeks, but so can we? Hmm, not really. That's a smelting furnace. Perhaps this place was once a metalworks. Phew, that's hot. Hmm, not really. Can we just directly combine it? Well, it's worth a try. No. But no. Listen, my dear. If there's anything on gum. Okay, she won't sell us more. There's no way this. Nope. Doesn't work. I'm sure Perry might like to do that, but so we can't. Ah, that's not going. We can't put it in the smelter. All right, but we know we can make a corrosive acid with the jelly and the sheet if we can get some. But we have to figure out where the sheet comes from. Which obviously that's an odor-only bar. So we gotta find a real bar. Man, a dump like this, you'd think bars would be a dime a dozen. Alright, uh... Yes, what? Come up and what do you want? And what species do you belong to? How cute! Can we be of help? Uh, yeah. Oh, questions, questions, questions! My math road is turning! I'm feeling sick already! Really? The yes! Ask someone else for a change. I'm losing my senses. I need some stuff to calm down. Don't you have something, my friend? Tell me where to get the sheet. Here, have this some. stuff got those two where they are now. I don't want to make their addiction any worse. Oh, this is sheet? Okay, how did it go? You need to mix this stuff with liquid in a two-to-one ratio. Oh, that stinks. Hang on. If this stuff really is all that corrosive, why is the container staying whole? Let's see. Just a small drop. Wow, this stuff burns through the ground faster than I can see. That's what I call an aggressive acid. Oh, okay, so I guess we found out what that was then. So Martel was killed with Sheed. So he must have just overdosed him, rather than, uh, rather than, um, what you may call it, just giving him a small dose. The entrance dose. to this building is locked. There's an ancient lock here. Hmm. But it looks like it's been used recently. No idea what kind of key one needs for it. All right, so now we should be able to use... No idea how this is supposed to work. What? Are you kidding me? There's no way this can work. The entrance to this building is locked. There's an ancient... I can't use the acid on the lock? Uh... I might just as well try to make a cow fly. Well... Okay, then. I guess, uh... Maybe we go back to her, show her the acid, and she gets really proud of us for... Being weird, I don't. Uh, ba, 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 ba. 
This isn't a goods exchange. Nope, she does this isn't a not care about the acid. Two to one mixture of sheet and tilt. A clear, sickly, sweet smelling yellowish liquid. I assume these people wouldn't take kindly to me using a. Uh... No idea how this is supposed to work. Can I offer you another odor? My days of relax. Oh. Uh, what do you want to do with that? So the sheet is extracted. No, do not You'll understand one thing, Brusk. Okay. I don't take anything or deal in anything, and I don't get paid for anything unless it's called odor and is consumed right here at this bar. He is not interested. You shouldn't be asking me questions. You should try my odors. <sighs> hey guys, I'm from the tour cell. I don't talk to primitive people. Oh, they don't believe it. Hey, I'm from the tour cell. Brescui, seriously, you're not. Alright. Brescu. Go Go girls didn't dress quite as revealing as that back in the day, but at least they were real flesh and blood. <sighs> this path might lead me to the horizontal, but certainly not to Mandra. Hey, do you want a primitive bone? Can I offer you a... You shouldn't be asking me... No. I guess I'll just finish asking the blues now that they're talking to me. Uh, unless... They're completely drug-addled out of their minds now. Anyway, they do, uh, cryptology and stuff. Oh, questions, questions. Oh, God. Nope, they're useless now. Alright. Oh, you know what? I never did see at the screen. There we go. I was missing a whole area. There we go. Silly me. Never thought to walk along that path. Alright, let's see what we got here. I assume that's... Who built this building? It's much too chaotic looking for an Arcanide construction. What an insane architecture. So maybe the medics are out here rather than behind that locked door. Oh, this is a camera angle. <laughs> uh, let's see here. The symbol for a medic or a clinic. If you're unlucky, you'll encounter an R a medic and end up paying a lot of money for terrible treatment. Does this city never end? What a huge place. How will I ever find Mandra again here? Oh, more racism against the Ara, I see. He is really not fond of them. That's a thing that I can't look at right now. Maybe if we get closer and the camera angle changes. Okay, there we go. Uh, Kesnar Clinics. It says there that they're run by an Ara called Eel Torgent. While Ara's are good physicians, they're completely unscrupulous. I can easily imagine that this Torgent has had the anti-serum for the epidemic here for quite some time, but would rather continue to make money by treating the symptoms. Okay. And that's all. So I guess we'll go in and introduce ourselves. Welcome to the Kesnar Clinic, precious living patient. Medic Eel Torrigan Sanatorium for Bacterial Diseases would like to provide you with the best, most affordable, and fastest possible therapy. You will first be scanned for possible illnesses. Then a biotoxic plasmogram will be made and your general state of health checked using a permoscopic Sangeason level. But first, you will have to undergo a solvency check. We accept Croners, Unith Units, Atair Dollars, Magrelands, and of course, Eldro Ram Credits. Which would you like to pay with? With my Eldro Ram Credit. You're welcome. Please stand behind the Metagraph for your check. Sir. 
just a completely safe spray-on disinfectant. This eliminates all superficial germs, pathogens, and possible parasites. After all, we don't want you infecting anyone else. In the meantime, we've received the results from your examination, and I have to say, we don't get that here very often. You're completely healthy. Perhaps a slightly increased level of the stress hormones Adrenaline Alpha 3, Sterizone, and Testosterone, but all within the harmless ranges. It's best if you just rest a little and put your legs up. Sometimes, a relaxation odor can help you to calm down again, too. We hope you have a nice and healthy day. Okay. I'm not done here. Oh, what's this poster? There seem to be some really nasty diseases here. All of them are somehow highly contagious. Some dissolve the innards or the skin, others dry you up from the inside out. Dried up. That was how Mortal was murdered. Eh? Trachevora eloxia laviola transeps, known as T-I-L-T -T for simplicity's sake. At least I now know what I scraped off that stone up there. Taking the stuff seems to be standard practice here. How does one get such an idea? According to what it says here, it's pretty corrosive stuff. It would certainly make you sick. All right, what else can we look at here? There's that other poster, which these all seem to be very uh, humanoid. Like, I guess these are supposed to be our ladies, I think? There still seem to be larger deposits of poison gas here that sometimes rise to the surface. That's probably the biggest danger in the old mine shafts and in the lower levels of the city. Okay. Ooh, force field blocking A that metagraph door. metagraph for recording and recognizing vital functions. Not something that'll help me right now. I take it I can't It looks just... as though I'll only be admitted to Torgent if I'm really sick, but I'm immune to the infections due to the cell activator. Yet not, unfortunately, to the dry air here. Ah, okay. So we gotta be sick. Well, it's worth a try, but no. Nope, we just can't acid ourselves. We care about your health. How can I help you? If you want to be healthy again, you've come to the right place. Alright, so, uh, hmm. Does the name Cato de Trumort ring a bell? It seems familiar somehow. Is he an Arcanite? Exactly. Pretty tall. Could he have been here? Yes, there's a... Oh, no, no, he hasn't been here. Yes, I think I must have been mistaken. So many people come and go here every day. <laughs> All right, so they, the doctor knows something. Gasnar Clinic is just as horrifying as the rest of the contaminated moon, and... And the medic, Eel Torgent, makes a lot of money treating symptoms. I should consult him if I want to find out what's happened here and learn more about Kato. I'm going to have to poison myself first. Alright. How do we poison ourselves? Is there a essential oil for that at the essential oil bar? See if he's got anything. Can I offer you another odor? If I want them to let me in to see the R in the clinic, I suppose I have no choice other than to poison myself. The cell activator will take a while to metabolize the poison. So let's just see how dangerous these odors are for me. Okay, for starters, I recommend Illumination over Lazurius 2, a gentle odor particularly suitable for beginners. Coming up. I just saw Abdul in the clinic. He's really ill. Well, what does that fool have to wander around the lower levels all the time? Certain death awaits him there. He almost didn't make it back last time. He says he wasn't by himself. Of course not. That whole shady mob is prowling around down there. He met Mad Hamilton. He was getting ready for a pretty long descent. Said he wanted to finally get to the bottom of things. Now you're into all that, too? It's all nothing but conspiracy theories. I mean, you know yourself how things work. 
That nonsense about there being someone pulling the strings. Okay, your odor's ready. This is the inhalation bowl. Don't inhale too deeply the first time. Cheers. Alright, so we got Mad Hamilton in the lower levels. Yeah, Mad Hamilton. I suppose anyone who's spent as much time as he has rummaging through this city's intestines is bound to go mad. His rambling and his conspiracy theories really got on my nerves, so I banned him from here. You might find him at a Gasha shop if you're lucky. Alright, lower levels. Elmo Data isn't really a city. It's more like a giant mine that was dug deep into this moon thousands of years ago. Up here on the surface, they're still trying to maintain order. But the deeper you go and the darker the levels get, the more obvious it becomes that you've landed in a vertical dungeon. And who constructed this place? If you ask me, it definitely wasn't the Arcanides. Some say it was a technologically highly developed race that then became extinct. Others say Elmo Data is actually a living organism. They say the city continues to proliferate. It continues to eat its way deeper into the moon like a virus. Another odor? Alright, will these guys say anything about Mayor Hamilton? It wouldn't make sense to get up and leave right now. At the moment, this is the only way I'm going to be examined by the Ara Medic. I just hope he really does know something about Cato. Otherwise, I'm simply wasting my time here. I am slightly curious, though. Alright, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Wow, that was really nice, but I feel anything but ill. And if I do that too often, I might even forget why I came here in the first place. The first one definitely did leave an impression, but it certainly didn't poison me. It's very possible that the second one will knock my socks off. I don't know whether that'll get me any closer to the clinic's emergency room, but I've got to try. I see you've acquired a taste for it. Then try the Krypton Star Ride. It's a bit stronger, but you'll enjoy it. I'll have it ready for you in a moment. Even you don't believe that. But you must admit that you haven't resolved all the facts yet. How often have you seen one of them? I do admit that the guys up there are quite conspicuously absent. Then who else controls all this here? The city, the mines, the workers, the shops, the credits, and the distribution of water and sheed. The spreading and treatment of the disease. Someone, or something must have ultimate control over this whole quarantine zone. That may very well be, but that doesn't mean it has to be a hacker who reigns over the entire Arcanite network. Here you go, Krypton Star Ride. I hope you have a nice trip. Ooh, a hacker. I wonder if that's the one that's been uh, guiding us the whole time. Well, I don't really need to experience that a second time, but let's see what effect this one has. What was that? Man, my head is throbbing. What a ride. Needless to say, kids, it should go without saying that uh, you shouldn't do drugs. <laughs> well, it seems like we are still fine, so hit us a third These time. These odors sure make you lightheaded. But I've forgotten what I was looking for here anyway, so it doesn't matter. And what would you like this time? Drapanian Shepherd's Fun? Nah, that's only for wimps. A pan-galactic thunder rattle. It's ready. Well then, let's start the fun. There we go, that seems to have done it. You're the medic Torjan, aren't you? 
Getting to see you wasn't easy. I can see, of course, that you're not who you pretend to be. This is not uncommon in Elmo data, but in your case I have to wonder about your rash behavior. You know who I am? The implanted cell activator in your shoulder was hard to overlook in my scans. I was just about to take a closer look at it when you woke up. You should rest a little more until your body has calmed down. The laceration on the back of your head has healed, but that cocktail of drugs you took wasn't exactly schoolboy stuff. How long was I out? Don't worry. Only 25 zentitontas have elapsed since you passed out at the bar. You were lucky that the bar owner's an honest character. We've got Too much questions. excitement isn't good for you right now. Relax. You can then continue your search with renewed energy. He knows we're looking for people. Too much excitement isn't good for you right now. Relax. You can then continue your search with renewed energy. Contact with other clients is not desirable. The risk of contamination is very high. I must ask you to respect that. All right. I'm not going to lie down again, even if the medic recommends it. Too much excitement isn't good for you right now. Oh, I'm off of it. Uh, let's see here. Anything else to look at in the room? Uh, we can look at these, uh, pods. It's just as well I didn't regain consciousness in that. It looks like a torture device from mankind's middle ages. It's just as well I didn't... Okay, they're all the same. Too much excitement. I take care of your well-being. I don't think I'm the best person to talk to about anything else. Alright, what about... Yourself? Rest a little bit longer until the effects of the drugs have worn off. Too to... much excitement isn't good. Nope. Plasma I take care of your way. Bad Hamilton. Rest a little bit long. Rest a little bit. All right, so we got in the clinic. How do I make him open up? I'm not going to lie down again, even if the medic recommends it. Uh, rest a little bit. You want a bone? Our medics are excited about anything that looks like an unresearched organism. Oh. Torgent, I have here the only preserved remains of an alocum, or yiladzimii, as the Arcanites call them. I would certainly be prepared to entrust them to you for your research purposes. That would be a rather rare organism. But how do I know you're not going to palm a possum cow bone off on me? You would have recognized that ages ago. And you have the guarantee of the Regent of the League of Free Terrans. How about it? Do we have a deal? What do you want for it? Answers, information, and the truth for once. I'm just a medic. Why do I know? All right. Start with Cato de Trumor. You have to understand, Regent, that there are very powerful forces on Gom Calidus. Cato de Trumor has been working here for so long. I'm just a medic. Cato works here? Alone? For Tourcell or for another employer? I don't know anything about that. Of course you do, but you're afraid. Give me a clue. Otherwise, we don't have a deal. But if I tell you what I know about the Trumod and his employer today, I'll be a dead Ara tomorrow. And then I won't benefit from this Elohim bone either. All right. Ah, where's my mouse? There it is. About oh, Mad Hamilton. Mad Hamilton. No one knows what his real name is. He gets himself checked out here regularly. But your treatments are expensive. How can he afford them? Well, he's a crazy adventurer and treasure hunter. I don't know anyone else who's been in the lower levels so long or so frequently. Most find only illness or death there. Only someone like Hamilton finds mysterious and valuable things there. He does me a favor, I do him one, and we both benefit. All right, tell me more about the lower levels. What's on the lower levels? The illness, death, and decay. Nothing that would interest you, Regent. But if I really wanted to go there, wouldn't I need an anti-serum to protect myself from the illness? Regent, if we had something like that, then we could lift the quarantine. You've had it for ages, I know you guys. So, the alocum bone no longer seems to interest you. It's very difficult to make. The costs exceed that which one usually... Give it to me. I'll pay for it. I, I need to go and get it. All right. Well, you do that. Hey there. Hey, stranger. You have a cigarette, perhaps? No. I stopped smoking a long time ago. Never mind. 
It causes cancer anyway. I'm Ulban Krems. And you? What are you doing here? Laszlo Dekonu. I'm looking for Cato de Trumort. He has... Whatever. If you're looking for him, then you've lost already. Here they call him Scorgon, the Invisible One. If you have questions, you should talk quietly and make it quick. They see and hear everything, and it will be no laughing matter when the Ara comes back. Alright, what can you tell me about? I don't know anything at all about Cato personally. He's very powerful here, but there are far more potent forces. What kind of forces? Who controls this planet? Whoever controls the flow of Sheed probably has the most power on this dying moon. No one knows exactly who that is, but there are some who claim it's an omnipotent hacker called Quarter Bat. And the Arcanite government? Them? <laughs> the Divine Empire gets paid to look the other way. They just make sure that no one outside of this degenerate eyesore finds out what really goes on here. Interesting. Hamilton isn't mad. Anyone who's been frequenting the lower levels for such a long time must have a crystal clear mind. He's a guru for us fortune hunters, a teacher. I learned everything I know about surviving down here from him. I heard that he's looking for something deep down in the mines. He looks for all kinds of stuff down there. He sells most of it at Igarsha's. Yeah, they know each other well. But I think he's also got a deal with the Aris, although I don't exactly know how it works. But that can't be the reason for putting himself in danger all the time. Between you and me, Hamilton is one of those who are convinced that Quaterbat is the actual ruler of Gom Calidus. He's been looking for him ever since. All right. Tell me more about the lower levels. What are the lower levels? Elmo Dater is one gigantic mine. No one really knows how big it is or how far down it reaches. There's no light anymore after the 23rd level. Certain death awaits you there. That's why they're also called the Black Levels. Let's say I wanted to go to the Black Levels. How would I get there? If you really want to get there, I can arrange access for you. It'll cost a little something, though. Whatever you want. Eyes. I want to be able to see with proper eyes again before I leave this filthy, dried-up moon. These cheap ARA implants are terrible. Everything looks blurry and two-dimensional. And where can I get real eyes here? No idea. But getting onto the black levels isn't easy either. I told you to refrain from contact with other patients. The risk of infection is much too high here, and I'm afraid our medical care is very limited due to the special circumstances. Save your breath. So, have you got something for me? Of course. Why do you think I took so long? You're healthy. If you would follow me, please. Let's get down to business. Please, give me that bone. You'll have to be patient a little longer. I want to get something for a friend beforehand, and I'll be counting on your valued support when I get back. As you wish, Regent. But my patience will soon be exhausted, and the anti serum will remain here in the meantime. Good luck. So basically get the eyes before uh, anything else. Wow, these, uh... Oh, those were the blues from earlier, weren't they? And there's the little blue doll. And fly, you wonderful beings! <laughs> ah, terrifying! I can't breathe! Only water, water, water! But I'm floating! seem to be suffering from withdrawal. I'll just steal this from you. No! No, you can't do that! You can't! She will punish me! They will come and fly and take me and go! Let me go! Let me leave! I have to fly and swim and fly! <laughs> Alrighty. You have been completely healed. 
However, you should avoid taking odors or similar stimulants for a while. As you know, increased usage can lead to addiction. Eel Torgent and his team wish you good health. Alright, well, thank you. You say the same thing? Congratulations! You're completely cured! You should take it easy for a while and avoid strenuous activities. Thank you for your visit. Goodbye. Uh, maybe I can get the little doll later, if that's even something that I'm supposed to get. In the meantime, uh, she sells things, so I can probably get eyes from her. Alright, boop. 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 Uh, da, 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 da. Far below in the lower levels of the mine, there's supposedly a mysterious hacker named Quater Bat. He's extremely powerful and is somehow connected to Kato. I want to get down there though. I'll have to get a real pair of eyes at the clinic for Olding Krems. I wonder who would sell something like that. Maybe the only person who sells anything in this godforsaken rock? Eyes, spill. I know Ulban Krems. A fortune hunter like Hamilton, but unfortunately not as lucky. Since then, he's been wearing those wretched viewing lenses. Poor guy. That's exactly what this is about, Agasha. He's going to get me access to the lower levels if I get him real eyes in return. Real eyes? Organ trade is strictly prohibited here, sweetheart. But why don't you go to Echo Dim and ask for Macro de Thrang? You can get all kinds of illegal things from him. Organs, information, hired killers. Tell him I said hello. Oh, okay, thank you. Anyways, what do you know about Mad Hamilton? Hamilton? What do you know about him? Not much. Why do you want to know that? Please, tell me everything, sweetheart. It means a lot to me. After that, you can ask me anything. Do you know where he is? I only heard that he's on or preparing for a longer expedition to the lower levels. Nothing more. Oh, you are such a good person, sweetie pie. Do old Igasha a favor and try to stop that stupid Hamilton from going. Find him and talk him out of all this nonsense. This will lead to nothing but certain black death. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. What do you know about the lower levels? A lightless, sick pit, according to what Hamilton's told me. Only lunatics go down there of their own volition. And old Agasha has fallen for one of them, of all people. Please bring him back to me, my dear. But if you want to go down there, you'll need to get some anti-serum first. Then I can lend you the equipment you'll need. Fair enough. Oh, what do you know about this... Quarter bat, who's apparently real because we have an image for him. Oh, I don't know, dear boy. Crazy old Hamilton is convinced that he really exists. Of course, I've also wondered who runs everything here. After all, we're still alive. We're doing fine. But as for whether it's this quarter bat... Alright, uh... I think that's everything I can get from her for now. So let's go back to the odor bar. Actually, before I do that... Uh, okay, so there's no hot spot left here, so nothing to investigate after the blues left. So I assume Mr. Big Beefy Guy that doesn't take no questions is our uh, contact. I'm standing here to prevent those of you without permission from entering, and you don't have permission neither. Uh, I want some eyes. I'm here to guard the door. I don't answer questions. Okay. Uh, maybe we talk to the bartender Go first. Go-Go girls didn't dress quite as revealing Oops. as that back in the day, but at least they were... Hey, one of his pals is gone. I wouldn't know what we'd have to discuss, Braskoy. Can I offer you another odor? <laughs> You overdose, but let me sell you more drugs. I'm looking for a certain macro de thrang. <laughs> and what makes you think he's here? Igarsha sent me. Hmm. So you want to see macro? Does he know you're coming? Not that I'm aware of. Then things could get very uncomfortable for you. He doesn't really like people just dropping in. You'll find him back there in the booth. Tell the doorman you want to see macro. Good luck. All right. Thank you, Mr. Drug Bartender Man. You're not allowed in, Braskoy. I want to see Macro de Thrang. Yeah, he's here. Welcome. Oh. Uh, okay, that's a thing. Again? What's that supposed to mean? 
Oh, has that been around before? Uh, looks like they've been uh, drinking a little bit. This sweet scent seems familiar. Sheed. It's deadly for some. For others, it's simply something to drink. Again? What's that supposed to mean? I'm here to guard the door. I don't answer questions. Fine, fine. Sorry to interrupt your... Uh... Oh, the Tehran. I've been waiting for you. The grapevine. Exactly. That's how it is in small, straightforward little clans. <laughs> By the way, do you want me to address you as regent, or may I call you Perry? That medic obviously isn't particularly discreet. Never trust an Ara. Aras aren't in the slightest bit sociable, but everyone has its price. What can I do for you? Well, we need some eyes. Olban Krem sent me. He wants me to get a pair of eyes from you. Get them from me? Get them from me? Now will you listen to that? Do I look like a charity or something? What is that blind Zanya thinking, anyway? Everyone has his price. You have no idea how things work around here. However, there is something that I'm missing. A little doll, you know. The creature puppets the brews have. That silly superstition. Perhaps. So? Well, I, I've lost one of those... things. It cost me a fortune, which is why it means so much to me. It's a naive representation of the blue creature. I'm sure you know what it looks like. Why don't you look for it yourself, or have your men look for it? Well, that would take time, and we're very busy. And since you're already here searching for something, and you would like dear Macro to do you a favor, you could do him a favor in return. A doll, Regent Perry, that's all. As soon as it's here, you'll get the eyes. He's got his girls numbered with barcodes. Jesus. All right. Well, I know exactly where this doll is. Oh. Creature doll. Find a blues creature doll for Macro the Thring. A representation of the Azure creature of intoxication. For this, I'll get real eyes for Ulan Krems. Curious all-powerful hacker. Mysterious, deeper, and therefore lightless regions of the minds of Elmo Daughter. Haven and probable origin of the plague-like disease. And Mad Hamilton, a so-called fortune hunter who has spent quite a long time in lower levels looking for useful and valuable items, is having a love affair with traitor Igarsha. Alright. Alright, so... Now we've won her trust. Far below in the lower levels of the mine, there's supposedly a mysterious... Oh, okay, I read that already. And it just has it updated with, uh... Okay, let's summarize. Still no sign of Kato, and therefore no sign of Manjur. At least he's known here, and he's pretty powerful, too. But the one who's calling the shots here, or who's really in the know, at least, seems to be this Quater Bat. I've got to find him. For that, I have to go to the lower levels. And for that, I need eyes for Krems. And it doesn't look as though I'll be able to avoid Macro. I was gonna say, he's probably told them- Yes! What is it? No, we're too deep down. I can't get your image. But I can see your ugly face as clearly as if you were in front of me. Yes, of course. You'll get it. What is it? That can't be true. Oh, that immortal's really getting on my nerves. Shut your mouth! Ephraim? Stopan? Connect me with Takio. Rodan is in Elma Data. He must, under no circumstances, be given access. Takio will not disappoint you, Stopan. She can do whatever she likes with him, as far as I'm concerned. All I want is to finally get my hands on Diamond's notebook. You will soon have it, Stopan. Yeah, I was gonna say, if that Ara told, uh... Fucking... Hello, Laszlo. Nice to see you again. If I'd known at the Academy that you're actually Roden, I would have killed you then. But then we would have missed this romantic reunion, wouldn't we? Ooh, a sarcastic one. 
Oops, I didn't mean to go that way, but, uh, alright. Kato's right hand, Takio Dezina, has turned up. She's blocking my way to a particular building, presumably the entrance to the lower levels. That means Tato must be down there, and hopefully Mandra will be there too. Since I'm unarmed, I'll have to find someone who'd be willing to get rid of her for me. Club Ecodim gives the impression of a scruffy space harbor bar, an asylum for adventurers, mercenaries, and other washed up characters. This is where I finally met Macro the Thrain, a very powerful Unithin, and knows who I am. If I can come to an agreement with him, he might be quite helpful to me. Alright, so we'll probably have to use his underworld connections. Yeah, we can ask people about her now. Takio Dezina, ex-agent and wanted assassin, titled the Tremort's right hand. But I feel like we're getting to the end of this level now, because now we basically know where all the pieces are. Uh, the only thing we haven't really used is the acid, but I don't know, maybe we rig a trap for her or something. Oh, that would be kind of gruesome. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, at least she's lazy and isn't, like, pursuing us through the whole, uh, <laughs> through the whole level. Welcome to the Kesnar Clinic, precious living patient. Medic Eel Torrigan Sanatorium for Bacterial Diseases would like to provide you with the best, most affordable, and fastest possible therapy. I'm doing wonderfully, thank you, but I have an appointment with Torgent himself. And when is this appointment exactly? Medic Torgent is very busy. Right now. Spare yourself the effort, Perry. Terrans. My charming assistants don't admit people to me just like that. Thanks, Mandy. I won't be able to see anybody for a while. This is your last visit here, Regent Rodan. I'm arousing suspicion just by associating with you. So, hand over that rare extremity now. Uh, you need to do me one last favor before I give you the locum bone. The two blues that were just admitted? What about them? Do you know them? Not really. I don't know what's wrong with them either, but I have to speak to them urgently. That will be difficult, but you can see the stay there in for yourself. If you would follow me, please. All right, good. Uh. What about them? They're dying. I've sedated them so they can't feel the pain. They have evidently poisoned themselves, but I haven't got the slightest clue what with. There's no substance to be found in their bodies that could cause such symptoms. Can't you heal them? How am I supposed to treat something I don't recognize? But perhaps you can explain their condition. Didn't they have a doll with them when they were admitted? That silly creature doll? An embarrassing blue superstition. What about it? I don't know, but I need it. It is the property of these lamentable creatures. I'm sorry, but I can't do anything for you. Didn't they have a doll with them when they were admitted? That silly creature doll? I don't it know. Is the property. Didn't they have a doll? That silly I don't know. The property. All right. Um. Maybe he knows. Contact with other clans is not the Oh, come off of it. I have what you want, and you know what I want. So, what's it going to be? It's just as well I didn't regain consciousness. Alright, uh... Take the bone, I guess. Okay, Torgent, here's the bone. You can have it, but I want that doll first. Fine, if this childish devotional object means so much to you. I mean, I hate stealing from them, but they're going to be dead anyways, apparently. Although we're, then we're stealing from the dead, which is still kind of really bad, but... There. That was the last favor I'll do for you. Now give me that ominous extremity. Weren't you going to give me a little parting gift? Here is the serum. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Regent. If you would follow me now, please. Uh, we're still going to have to get back in for, uh, what's his face? Get him his eyes. Oh, but I hope you're going to keep helping me. Very unlikely, Regent Rodan. I'm a very busy medic. 
Other clients require my help, too, and not everyone has such influential friends as you do. What's that supposed to mean? You will understand, even without my help. It would suit me very well if we did not meet again. Well, that's not going to be the case, unfortunately. We'll have to meet at least one more time. But we got the blues doll. Oop, oop. And oop. And all right. We are back, so let's get him his creature doll of the blues. Naive representation of the Azura creature of intoxication for macro death ring. I'll exchange it for real eyes for open crims. Ah, there we go. Then let's have a look. You shouldn't inhale that, Regent. Don't worry, it volatizes quickly. Well, there it is. Very nice. Was about time. Now, down to business. <laughs> Here, for my old friend Krems. As good as you, hardly worn. But you worry too much, Regent Perry. That will only give you a headache. It would be better if you left now. You must leave now. Regards to my friend Krems. All right. Well, we got the real eyes at least, so. Let's go and give those to him. All right. One. Look, we gotta. I guess they must not have been poisoned with the the sheed, then those blues. But certainly they would have. He would have recognized the signs of uh, intoxication from that. Which makes you wonder what they did get. It's kind of ominous. To get my hands on the creature doll, I had to give the aromatic the alien bone. In return, I received the anti serum for the disease. I'm sure it'll be very useful, though. Thanks to the cell activator, I personally won't need it. Oh great, I finally got the eyes for Krems and the medic has run off. Now I'll have to break into the clinic to get access to the lower levels from Krems. No sign of life from Mandra, no contact with Bully. I just hope I'm not wasting my time here. Closed. Hello? No movement inside. How am I going to get to Krems now? A security lock. The entrance is secured with bars in several places. No idea how, but it looks like I'll have to break in here to get to Krems. Uh, is this where the acid finally comes in? If I carefully trickle this acid into the slit in the doorway... Well, what do you know? But that probably won't go unnoticed for long. Uh, we don't need to be in there long. Uh... Are these androids? Aha, uh -huh, androids. That explains their perfect condition, of course. The Aras made so-called bios in this area for hundreds of years. Brainless Frankenstein's monsters, cannon fodder for the Arcanides. That's why they now lead the field in creating artificial life. Yeah, I'm sure Mr. Araman is off uh, selling her information. Are they still sedated? It looks as though those two have met their maker. Whatever was in this silly doll, it was the death of them. Um, not quite yet. They're still blinking eyes, but, um, hey, dude, what do you know about, uh, I gotta ask you a few more things. Well, it's worth a try. What do you know about Quarterbat? Hey, Krems, everything okay? Huh? What? Who? What do you want? Have we met? Don't you remember me? Should I? Who are you? I was here earlier. You said you could obtain access to the Black Levels for me? I see. So, you're a fortune hunter, too. 
It looks like my memory has suffered heavily. It would be better not to get too close to me. I've really caught it this time. I've tossed everything I owned into this Ara's jaws, but the odds that he'll really heal me are still slim. All right, all right. Uh, anti serum. The anti serum developed by the aromatic torgent works against the plague rag ravaging the low lower levels. Thanks a lot for the offer, but that's the only thing I'm not lacking. My poisoning is so severe this time that it will take a miracle to get me out of here alive. What about your eyes? I'm afraid I haven't made myself very popular in getting real eyes for you. Don't tell me you don't remember that either. Holy, it's true. You've got eyes for me. That's... Let me see. Here, take my implants. They aren't much good as eyes, but maybe you can use them in your search. Tell me, are you a Terran? Anything against it? No, I'm glad you're still alive. Take good care of yourself in future if you want to stay that way. There's no mercy on the lower levels, and no one to protect you. All right. Uh, eye implants. It would be better not to get too close to me. All right. I guess we use those implants to, uh... There must be an op optical lock on the... Or retina... Retina scanner, that's the word. Eye implants, cheap lenses of Aryan manufacturer, made of grinding glass it used in rather warm but at least transparent oh hey can we pick this up there's no way this can work hmm not really I guess not all right so that leads us back to the shopkeeper got a few more questions for her um Yeah. Hello, my dear. I'm amazed you're still alive. I've just got some fresh meat in. I'm sure you'd like a tartar roll. What kind of meat is it? Meat is meat, my sweet. Come on, have a bite. Yeah, no thanks. I'm feeling sick already. <laughs> Alright, what do you know about... I never did ask her again about Cotto de Trumort. Got Trumort is one of them, that's certain. He's been coming and going as he pleases for a while now. He's seen nearly everyone here and questioned them about all kinds of stuff. What they know about Arakieda and Sheed, for instance, or about some Yulod Simi thing. Okay. And, uh, what about Akio Dazina? I'll have to pass on that one, sweetheart. Are you sure she's been here before? If not, I wouldn't know her. Alright, fair enough. Uh... What do you know about these eye implants? This isn't a goods exchange, my dear. It's an honest trading post. Thanks, sweetheart, but I don't buy anything. She doesn't want the anti-serum. Okay. Ah, uh, whatever. Maybe I'm still supposed to do something for, uh, what's-his-face? Because his, uh... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, because I still have a thing for the anti-serum, so someone up here needs it. He certainly seems like he could benefit from it, if it's the disease that's uh, truly afflicting him. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the offer, but that's the only thing I'm not lacking. My poisoning is so severe this time that it will take a miracle to get me out of here alive. All right, uh... What do you know about the Xena? Oh, oh, these pains are unbearable. I hope I didn't get the anti-serum too late. It feels like I'm... I'm burning up from the inside. You can keep this aura rubbish. Things like that can often come in handy when you're traversing the lower levels. It would be better not to get... All right. I want to go to the lower... Oh, yes, it's you. Take this. 
from a mutual friend of ours. What mutual friend? A Terran like you. But I don't know him personally. I found this pass in my things recently, with a written request to give it to a Terran looking for Quatter Bat. No one must know that you have it. That's all. That's all? That's all. Huh. Okay. So we have this admission permit. A key for admission to the lower levels of Elmo Daughter. A large chip card made of metal. The card surface is reminiscent of hard drives or circuit boards. You really sure you don't Thanks want Thanks a lot for the offer. All right. But we still need to find someone who's willing to deal with, uh, what's-her-face, uh, Xena, or your princess. And, uh, I'm sure we trade the anti-serum for that. Uh, do 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 do. Maybe we get it from someone in the bar. You guys, let's start asking around. This path might lead me to the. Okay. Can someone tell me what? Oh, uh, we never did get into the dance hall. Brass Cooey, seriously, you Brass Coo uh. Brass C Brass C Does nothing get us in? Brass Coo Anti -serum. Brass Coo Is that uh are we forever not getting in there? <laughs> You can't go in there just now. Macro's cleaning his trunk, and no one's allowed to bother him when he's doing that. Okay, uh, can you take care of Xena for me? I'm here to guard the door. I don't answer questions. One and answer. I'm here to guard. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who's left. There's uh, no way this can work. Hey, babe, do you want an anti-serum? This path might lead me to the horizontal, oh, but okay. certainly not to Mandra. Uh, what do you know about this chip? This is a secret entrance to the lower levels. Krem said it would be better if I didn't show it to anyone. All right. Thanks, sweetheart, but I... I'll have to pass on that one Promise me you'll. Da Trumord is one of them, that's certain. He's. Oh, I don't know, dear boy. All right. That's a smelting furnace. Perhaps this place was once a metalwork. There's no uh... way this. I'm not seeing anything else. I'm not going there of my own accord anymore. While that Arcanite Fury is there breathing fire. Where'd she come from all of a sudden, anyway? All right. It says something's there, but I don't get any uh, hot spot for it. Oh man, we're so close. Um Anything we can get out of these androids? Aha, uh -huh. android. Oh. A metagraph for record. If it doesn't fit Nope, is there a computer system we can access? Looks as though those two have met their maker. Nope. Anything over there? Hey, do you want a mining lamp? <laughs> Where did you find that old thing? 
There are far more modern lamps around, but white light is particularly helpful on the black levels, no matter where it comes from. Oh, okay. Uh... The upper part of a transport roller for the miner's lift system. It must be thousands of years old, and it's still working. There's nothing like this on any other planet. Whoever invented this technology was far more advanced than the Arcanides of the time. I think that Blue's leg is clipping through the, uh, the scenery there. Oh, this guy's pretty knowledgeable. The byproduct from the mines. After smelting, it's cast into these sticks in order to portion and distribute it better. But a mere mortal can't do anything with it without a press. All right. Uh... Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh. Now, how did you get your hands on that? This locking system used to be quite common, but then it became obsolete and has mostly been replaced. But there are still some locks on Gom Calidus that use it. I would buy that key off you right now, but I'm not interested in going to the Black Levels anymore. All right. I think that's all the questions we can ask oh. him. Yeah. All right. You know, I never did ask the bartender. I guess I could ask him. All right. Man, this level would be unbearably long if I hadn't figured out that uh, right-clicking teleports you. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, da, da, oh, I went too far. There we go. Can I offer you another Oda? Uh, I would like to ask you about Xena. Someone's using a gun to prevent me from entering a building. Is there anyone here who might be able to help me? That's your problem, stranger. I sell odors and leave all the other business to those who need it most. You understand that, don't you? Can you be a bit more specific? If you have anything valuable to offer, you can ask any one of these broken guys here. Zimbart over there, for example, is a former mercenary. That doesn't make him a sociable guy, but he too has his weaknesses. Oh, okay. Hey, Zimbart, I need something. I wouldn't know what we'd have to discuss, Braskoy. Uh, I need you to take care of warriors. I don't talk to primitive people. Hey, are you sick? Want an anti-serum? I've got the anti-serum for the illness. And what am I supposed to do with your anti-serum, Braskoy? You're infected. You'll die. I know that myself. How am I supposed to know that your serum works, Terran? It's from Torgent, the medic. You can ask him. Fine. Give it to me. But first, you must do me a little favor. I figured as much. Only death is free. <laughs> I need you to take care of Xena, warrior princess. This unfriendly mercenary really seems to need the anti-serum more urgently than I do. After all, the cell activator will save me. But before I give it to him, he'll have to do me a little favor. I want you to immobilize someone for me. Immobilize? I may be a fallen soldier of fortune and a former mercenary, Braskoy, but <coughs> I'm not an assassin. You're not supposed to kill her. Simply putting her out of action will suffice. Oh, and to top it off, it's a she. Well, <coughs> where will I find her? Walk out the door and keep to the right. Near the bridge that leads to the locked gate is where you'll find her. Mm. <coughs> so, she is gar <coughs> guarding the entrance. Could be a bit difficult, but okay. <coughs> and what do I get in return? Once you've knocked her out, you'll receive the anti-serum. The faster you return, the higher your chances of recovery. With my charm... <laughs> She'll drop her weapons fast enough. <laughs> right. Don't know how it's going to do anything in that condition, but okay. Well, I suppose I should follow him. Does that get rid of... Nope. I'm not going there of my own accord anymore, while that Arcanide Fury is there breathing fire. Where'd she come from all of a sudden, anyway? Alright. Do we just leave and come back? Do 
we just wait a bit? Do we talk to this guy now? <laughs> Brass Cooey, serious. All right. Well, I found someone willing to get rid of her for me. Can I offer you another odor? No, I don't want more drugs. This path might lead me to the horizontal, but certainly not to Mandra. Uh, okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot to... Maybe we can pester Marco again. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. I don't know how long trunk cleaning takes. Oh, hey, we can, uh... Hey, what's up? Well, Regent Perry, how may I help you this time? Do you need something to get your mind off of things? Clear your thoughts? Or are you still looking for your friends? <laughs> uh, know anything about Cottle? Regent Perry, if all you want to do is bore me with your questions, then there's surely no hurry. My head is throbbing. Come back later. Come back some other time. Oh, okay. That was, uh, pointless. Oh, hey, he's back. Perfect. Okay. <coughs> My friend, that woman <coughs> gave me a really hard time. Killing her would have been easier. <coughs> but at least she's out of action now. What'll happen to her now? It would be best if she could remain that way till I left the city. But before you leave this city, <coughs> you're gonna pay me my salary, Brass Cooey. <laughs> of course. You've earned the anti serum. Okay, then give it to me. I just hope this stuff really works, or else. Or else you'll soon be looking just like. Like your little friend, Brascoy, if it's the last thing I do in this life. Well, here's hoping that it actually works. Alright, uh, mouse, do I get that back? There we go. Alright, so that should, uh... Yep, that finishes all of our objectives, so we should be able to get to lower levels now. Alright. Oh, she's in a little bubble. Perfect. Ah, the immortal Laszlo. Too spineless to dirty your hands with me, weren't you? No, actually, too weaponless. I'm a lot more relaxed talking to you now. Come on, admit it. You were scared of me. The powerful regent of the League of Free Terrans is weak where women are concerned. <laughs> Well, let's ask her everything. Why did you abduct Mandra? Yes, why indeed? So that you would bring Cato the lens, you cretin. Thanks for the compliment. But what does Cato need the lens for? The robot's in the museum, after all. You'll have to ask him that yourself. But I can hardly imagine that he'll talk to you before he kills you. Alright, and he does have lens, unfortunately. If you think I'm going to tell you something that will lead you to Cato and your stupid chick, think again. If you think I'm going to tell you something right. that... Uh... Tell me, Takio, where might I find your boss right now? He isn't here. So I noticed. So where is he? Well, where might he be? On his way here, of course. To finish you off once and for all, you immortal as Soya. Arakita, who's interested in that? If it weren't for these Yilod Zimei, this moon would never have been colonized. The Elokum. What do you know about them? Definitely a lot more than you, you idiot. Ah, uh, well. 
She's a nice person. If you think I'm going to... Nope. Hey, Roden. I thought you were immortal. Just jump down there. That's the quickest way to get to the lower levels. <laughs> hey, Roden. Hey. Why do you work for Kato? Out of past loyalty? I work for whoever pays well. That's all. Where did Kato get the money from? Who said that Kato's paying me? Perhaps I'm also on Mondra Diamond's payroll. <laughs> Suspicious. Hey, Roden. Hey, Roden. Oh, tell me, could your boss be prowling about the lower levels? The stuff you know, Roden. You're really bright for a Terran. Thanks, I know. What's he doing down there? Mm, visiting friends, settling old scores, conquering the Milky Way, becoming immortal, the whole shebang. What else? Interesting, interesting. What about this quarter bat? No idea. Cato said he's important for reaching our goal. But I don't know what he has to do with it exactly. I think he has a pass or a code or something. What is your goal exactly? First, to finish you off. And then, to live forever, of course. <laughs> All right. If you think... Hey, Roden. All right, and that's all she's gonna give us. So I think that's gonna pretty much end the level here. Uh, so we're gonna head down to the lower levels and we'll see you next time. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there and we'll see you then. Peculiar lock mechanism. I hope Krems gave me the right card.